What's up, boys and girls? Welcome back to the Meme Factory, serving up hot memes. Every day, we're going to play Tilt Pack. We're going to do single player because I don't have any friends. Um, let's pick uh, Kid Orange. Now, this game is kind of like, I don't want to say like Smash Brothers, but in a small way it is because you play like in an arena type of environment and your goal is to hammer the, the other opponents off. There's also multiplayer. You can play up to like four people and you just kind of try to use your momentum to push the homies off as you can see so he had his momentum still but I could just come right here and just push him unfortunately this game still only uses uh, joy cons there is no pro controller support no idea why there's games like that that have no pro controller support I, I rarely ever use my joy cons I absolutely actually hate the joy cons but look at this look at this guy whoa all right I locked out right there let's just shove the guy and uh, there's no real button presses to do besides just using the joystick and the power-ups once in a while come in and help uh, provide some kind of momentum look I'm just gonna stay on top of this dude Just gonna stay on top of him. There we go. The ball. Oh. That ball didn't help me, but the first ball did. I'm gonna try and get this this power up. If I could reach it. Nope, I did not. Alright, so let's let's go underneath and let's shove him. <laughs> the game basically is this, guys. Um I'm sure with like four people playing all at once, it does get pretty zany pretty outrageous but uh, you gotta admire the tenacity the, the basic idea of some games is just so much fun like this is an ultimate party game this is probably I would say an, an amazing party game to play on the switch I personally have not played it yet with people but like look at that eventually the ground gave way and whoever fell down first was going to uh going to be the one that uh that lost not bad not bad so let's let's try again uh, that was that was pretty intense let's see if we could uh obviously this this guy's bigger than me so he has more levered leverage oh my gosh and i fell again <laughs> oh let's go back to the menu let's try a different character or something or a different level let's do mount outbreak this looks cool Mount Outbreak. So this came out quite a while ago. I'm just now finally getting to it. So uh, I know it is an older title or whatever, but I thought it was good enough of a game that could show multiplayer capabilities for you guys to uh, consider. Especially because the levels have such crazy design. Like, look at this. There's, there's these blocks that eventually they're going to start uh, giving way so uh, you can't stay on them much longer. Uh, but yeah, we beat it. So we're going back to Basuki, who is the big dude who totally beat my butt last time. Look at this. Each little stage has different different traps, different obstacles, different variations of, of changing things. You know, it's not exactly all about just pushing the guys. There's, there's these... Uh, dang, he got the punching glove. <laughs> there's, different, there's different types of... Uh, stage environments and hazards and stuff that make the game stand out i, I honestly think if, if you gathered a whole bunch of people together had a couple drinks in you and just went nuts at this game you guys would have a good time um, i don't want him to get the punching bag but he got it so i guess that makes his his strikes if he rolls into people a lot harder oh look the lava's coming up too so you got to be careful Let's get the let's get the the mace. Oh, he grabbed the mace. Great. The lava's coming up, so you don't want to be the one to touch the ground. So like, I need to get on top of him. Like Jay's mom gets on top of people. <laughs> Here we go. Let's, let's, let's. Oh, dang it! Son of a gun. Let's go back to menu. Let's check out one of the other stages. Definitely pretty creative. This is Twisty Temple. 
And we're going against Killian. Look at him. He has a big mustache. So I think this, yeah, this level has spikes at the edge. Look at that. So instead of falling off the stage or falling into lava or whatever, it's, it spikes. Ooh, Red Guardian. Kind of looks like a Power Ranger, the Red Ranger. Um, I do like the variety that this game has, honestly. Oh, let's go. Kid Orange is just so cute, though. That's why... Oh, gosh. I died. <laughs> Kid Orange is cute. That's why I'm sticking as him. Let's try it again. I think maybe I should try a new, a new character, though, because he's a little tiny. Of course, because he's a kid. It seems like he doesn't have much in way of momentum on his side. It's almost like sumo wrestling, too, if you think about it. Oh, we both died, but I lost. Okay, that makes that makes sense, guys. That checks out. Let's check out the game show. The gonk show. The game show. Alright, so here we go. What's the game show have? Bombs? There's bomb underneath. I think that's it. It's just bombs and stuff. So the bombs make you jump up. Why would they put the extra weapon on the edge of the map? Like that, where it comes down at the edge of the map. That that didn't make too much sense. Okay, so here's Killian. Let's see what we got now. What's going on? And I'm playing this one-handed, by the way. So you are able just to play with one hand and uh, just hand out like four Joy-Cons or so. So definitely is a party game. Here we go. Round three. I think that mallet in the background is going to come down. Oh, yeah. The mallet's going to move left to right in the background and smash people. That's actually funny. I can imagine having a stage full of players with the mallet in the background and just taking turns trying to shove each other. Oh, no. Look at this. What's that going to do? Oh, so you can move backwards and forwards into the foreground with that. That's kind of cool. Smirk. Smirk. It's a funny name. Okay, look at this. The stage is auto-scrolling, and there's bombs. Different obstacles. It's almost like MXC. Remember Most Extreme Elimination Challenge on Spike TV back in the day? That's what it almost seems like. Level 6 against Madison. All right. Ooh, look at this. The ground is going away. You can just hypothetically just stay on top of stop on top of your opponent. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a pretty tough little opponent right here. She's blinking though. I don't know what that means. Here we go. This is just outrageous, guys. Look at this. We're almost out of out of blocks on two ends. There we go. Ooh, I won that one. Did you imagine that with more than just me and one other person? Jeez. Level seven, so this is the last one in this stage. Let's see if we can do this. Definitely seems like the game show stage is the easiest out of the bunch. Oh look at this, it's tilting. The stage is tilting. I'm going to just... Oh, nope. I lost. <laughs> oh, let's continue. Let's try again. Since I'm still at level 7. Let's see if we can do this, guys. Just knock her off. There we go. I won. Do I get a prize? Do I get unlockable? Do I get something for unlocking? Clear. So I cleared that. Do I get a new stage? Random unlock. So I get random mode unlocked. That's nice. So it does look like there are unlockables as you progress throughout the stage. So random. And then it looks like there would definitely be more. You get a nice trophy. So that's cool. There is unlockables. There's, what, eight characters? So that's pretty cool. Um, versus mode up to four players. Not bad, honestly. I, I was rather impressed with what Tilt Pack showed. I would love to play with people. I wish there was an online mode, but there's not. It does not have an online mode, but could you imagine? This actually looks like a lot of fun. I think it's something worth getting. A small, lower budget indie game that's a good party game. Alternative, different modes, pretty chaotic, fast gameplay. 
I think it's worth taking a look at. So comment below. Have you checked out Tilt Pack? What do you think? Do you think this is not worth it? Like, dislike, show some engagement. If you haven't subbed yet to the channel, consider doing it. I'll see you next time. Peace out.